Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Crosby Cosplay. Um, I've added a new feature to the templates that I provide. I am providing a scaling model to go uh, an STL file that will go with all the templates. Uh, for example, here's our Mark 7 Aquila chest pattern. Uh, this will come with a STL file of the actual size it's modeled at. Um, it's made up of 2D surfaces, uh, unfortunately, so you won't be able to print, but that's how I uh, create my templates. I create the 2D surfaces, I cut them, I flatten them, and we go from there. Um, so this is the file you'll get, and it's measurements inside the STL are the actual measurements of the uh, final product. So if you take this piece here, what we're gonna do, so how this all kind of started here is I had folks who use Armorsmith, <coughs> uh, armoredgarage.com, the URL will be provided in the description. Uh, they use this to make their own templates. Um, I, I don't use this, I use SolidWorks and then I flatten the pieces and I hand edit them to add registration marks and everything. That doesn't make me better, I don't mean it that way, it's just that uh, uh, Armor, Armorsmith is more of a Pepecora style is what you're gonna get. Um, and you can use this to even make your own templates if you choose to. Um, however, it has a really nice feature where it lets you design an avatar of yourself uh, that you can use to scale the armor. Uh, currently, right now, if you wanna scale a piece of my armor, I provide you with a drawing that provides you all the critical dimension, a bounding box basically, and you measure yourself and figure out where you need to scale to kind of roughly and then go from there. Um, a lot of folks who are used to using Armorsmith have really been asking me for something to use, so now I'm providing it. Uh, I actually use Armorsmith not to produce my templates, but to scale reference geometry. Um, so, because I got it when I was interested in Pepecura in the beginning, um, but I'm not satisfied with how Pepecura makes its uh, templates. So I don't use it for that, but I do use it to scale my, uh, my, my reference geometry I use for my stuff. So, um, Armorsmith, as you can see, is not free. It's $35. Uh, for what you get, I think that is a great value. Um, and it has been around for a long time. And this is a great big part of the community and um, he keeps it updated it's uh, even though I don't use it for templates it's still good software I paid for it and I still use it I just use it for something other than what initially was intended for um, so that's armor smith um, if you you may be able to do something similar inside Peppercore designer um, I'm not too sure but um, so whether you get the template on chronicosplay.com or you get it in my Etsy store uh, either one will uh, will give you the uh, the STL file that you're gonna need. So let's go ahead and jump in to uh, Armorsmith. So what Armorsmith lets you do is it lets you make an avatar of yourself. Um, so select the avatar here. Um, and if you look here, uh, you can see there's all sorts of, so that's my chest. Here's my head. When you first start this up, it's gonna ask you for a ton of measurements it's gonna to use to create your avatar for you. So this is my particular avatar. As you can see, I'm a bit of a chunky guy. And if you've watched the videos, you've seen that too. Uh, and this is after about 55 pounds of weight loss. And I got about 50 pounds more to go. So hopefully we'll get this avatar to shrink up. So, Although it's unflattering to look at my avatar, this is my avatar, and I, if I want to make something that fits me today, this is what I'm going to need to use to do it. So let's, so we got our avatar. Uh, once you install it and you add all your, it'll, it'll ask you for all these measurements. Uh, I work in metric because I just find it's easier, uh, and a lot of folks who use the product are also use metric. Uh, well, when I say the product, I mean the things that I sell. So it helps for me to have things in, in millimeters. Um, so here's my avatar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import the scaling model I provided for that chest piece that I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and attach it to the chest here. All right. And 
As a consequence of the coordinate systems, the axes used between SOLIDWORKS and this program aren't the same. You notice the orientation is a little different, so we're just going to need to rotate it. And then uh, translate it a little. So look in here, you can see we've got some real tight around the waist because uh, I'm, I'm a bigger guy and it doesn't quite fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this. <clears throat> now, because you're using two dimensional templates, you have to, you don't have an option but to scale in all three dimensions. So you need to make sure uniform scaling is on and uh, you just have to scale until it fits the most restrictive dimension. Just where we're at, where it's sitting. That looks like a much better fit to me. So that is about 110% of the original scale. So, and you can put the whole suit of freaking armor on here if you so choose to make sure to size everything and get it exactly how you want it. I think it's great software. If you don't have it and you make templates or you like to create them, I, I recommend it. I really. Okay, and so now we're going to go to uh, to print. And for most folks, this is what you're going to see when you go to print. Um, this is an eight and a half by eleven page, or A4, depending on where where you are in the world. Uh, and it's trying to fit everything on one page, so it's twenty six percent scaled. Uh, we're going to go to poster here, and for tile scale, we're going to set that to one hundred and ten because that's what we figured out using Armorsmith. All right, there we go. And print. And we've got our scaled and posterized files. There you go. So that's scaled to 110% and you just print those out, cut your templates and it'll fit this big guy right here. Thank you very much for your time, everyone. I look forward to seeing you at karatecosplay.com.